Hello, welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a splendid Saturday. Gosh, I look like I've just got out of the shower, which I have done. But I was sort of, I thought I looked drier <laughs> than I am. Um, it's fine. Anyway, hi, welcome uh, to Skyrim Saturday. And this is going to be the last session of working on testing our Bruma patch, I'm hoping. Ooh, shuffle the animals along. Come on. There you go. There you go. Um, because we've tested most of it, and it all seems to be working. But, uh, what we need to test today is the, um, Frostcrag Spire stuff. And I also, I need to start the stream by, uh, because what we did last time, if you remember, from those of you who tuned in last time, was, uh, I said Adius a lot, because I thought that's how you said his name. But it turns out it's actually said Adius, so I re-recorded four or five lines. For Lucian um, to make him say Adius instead of Adius. We need to implement them now and then we're gonna fire up the game. And uh, hopefully that'll be fab. I'm not gonna bother specifically testing each of them because that's just a faff. I'm just gonna sort of trust that they're fine uh, once I've replaced them because it's all the code and everything works fine. We're just replacing the raw sound file so it should be alright. So I'm just going to get me headphones, stick them on my noggin. Here we are. Okay, so we actually need to re-record all these lines because they've got background microphone harm on them. Despite me thinking I'd fix that. Uh, so we're going to start the session by re-recording those. So let me just grab my pop filter. By the way, I think, well I don't know for sure, but I think I figured out what was causing that. The uh, bottom of the microphone was very loose. I tightened it up and the hum seems to have stopped. If it comes back during the stream, let me know. But I'm hopeful that that is actually all it was. Because I never take it out of the mount. It always stays in the mount, so I wouldn't know. But I actually lifted it out of the mount and I noticed the bottom bit, which screws, you know, had come kind of slightly unscrewed. Which would explain a temperamental earth. On this temperamental earth in which we live in, makes you give it a cry. Down, now, now. So live and let die. Do, do, do. Anyway, hi Stitcher, welcome to the stream. Right. Yeah, they've all got hum. Yeah, okay. We're going to delete them. We're going to record them again. No, we're going to keep them so that I can, uh... So that I can know which ones need re-recording. It's nothing to do with me, Daedric Mistress Void. You've got to get in touch with the person who makes I'm glad you're here. It's not my... It's completely out of my hands. Sorry. I wasn't involved at all with the development of that mod. All I did was provide the voice work. <laughs> I'm just opening up the Bruma patch. <sighs> we might want to bump down my resolution, actually. So that I can screen share with you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Right, 
if I just load a random cell. Okay. Let's go screen with camera and you can see what I'm doing. So if we have a look at quest and we go to Bruma main quest, because that's where all these lines are, and we just go through them in order again and re-record as we go. So first line, what happened to Adius? It was all our fault, wasn't it? But I need to get into my Lucian, Lucian mode. Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius. Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius. Hello, hello, I say, goodness me, golly. My name is Lucian Flavius. Hello there. Marvellous! I don't normally do this, but have you got a moment to talk? Okay. What happened to Adius? It was all our fault, wasn't it? One more. What happened to Adius? It was all our fault, wasn't it? There we go. That should be good. Okay, and next one. I'll just pause the recording there. Oops, not that one. can try it that way round, Nuna. I'm not convinced. When I say it was all my fault, that's how I say it. You know, I don't say it was all my fault. I say, oh, God, it's all my fault. You know, you put fault, you put the emphasis on the fault, naturally. But I can try it. We can try a take that way round. What happened to Adius? It was all our fault, wasn't it? What happened to Adius? What happened to Adius? It was all our fault, wasn't it? We can listen back to both of them, see what we think. Hello, Mystic Malevolence, welcome to the stream. Right, we're looking for... it's misc lines now? Idle lines. Well, we have a suspect, but not a location. Perhaps Adius can help us out a bit? Well, we have a suspect, but not a location. Perhaps Adius can help us out a bit? Mission accomplished! No. Mission accomplished! Cutters vanquished! Splendid work all! Let's go to Adias! Hello there! Hello there! Mission accomplished! Cutters vanquished! Splendid work all! Let's go tell Adias! He'll be thrilled! Mission accomplished! Cutters vanquished! Splendid work all! Let's go tell Adius, he'll be thrilled! What? I... I can't believe it! It all happened so fast! Poor Adius! What? I... I can't believe it! It all happened so fast! No. What? I... I can't believe it. It all happened so fast. Poor Adius.
Is that it? Is that all the lines? I felt like there was one more. But, uh... I think we're okay. Oh, I just remembered there was another line that was bothering me. Let me just play this back and check it. Since I'm bothering to re-record these ones, I was wondering about ATN, because I have a sneaky feeling they actually said ATN. Rather sarcastic shout out from Nuna to the delivery person who just dumped about a dozen parcels in the hall downstairs rather than bothering to deliver them to the actual flats. Wow, that is rude. That is not on. And quite frankly, very ableist. Is there anyone you can complain to? Oh, hang on, of course I just opened the wrong one, didn't I? Uh, what's it called? BS Heartland. <laughs> right. Atien. Names Atien. Atien. Or something like that. Names Atien. Atien? Or something. Well, the other day, that thief you helped apprehend, the artifact pilferer Atien Goulet, ah, got out of jail somehow. Well, no, he says Atien. Hmm. Yes, I've heard of this thief and his connections before. Atien Goulet, correct? Name must have appeared in one of Thorina's old briefings. Please hold that dialogue to acknowledge that the death of Atien has been registered. Okay, two of them say Atien, and who actually know, and this one's just guessing. And says Atian. So that's fine. We'll leave it at that. Adius Vilius has been walking around. They probably see things my way. Adius doesn't have. If I hear a word of Renaud's death, I'll go straight to Adius and you. I'm sure. No, you're probably just one of Adius's hound dogs. Oh, there's one Run version along, of Adius, but no, most boy. people say Adius, so Run. we'll stick with Adius. Okay, fab, let's uh, export these, I guess. Okay. Oh, hang on, we had the other lines first. I do, I do prefer the version where it says all our fault, not all our fault. It just feels more natural to me. Maybe I say it wrong, but... Rumor Adius retake one. Oh, Adius, you are so gracious. I want you to be my friendius. Don't be afraidius, Adius. Mission 
Oh, that was such a good take until I went, let's go tell... <laughs> Lovely, that take will do fine. A little bit of a voice crack, but it's funny when Lucian's voice cracks, so it's okay. Hmm. Weird mouth noises on that take. Hello, Andy Graves. Welcome to the stream. It's going very well, thank you. We've very nearly finished on his Bruma patch, which I just need to get into uh, closed beta testing and get it through that, and hopefully we'll release in the next few weeks. Um, so that's going very well, and I've been fine. I'm just incredibly busy at the moment with my PhD, because uh, I have to finish in March, and it's kind of stressful. There you go, retake four. Is it only four lines? I really felt like it was more. Yeah, no, I think that's it. Is working on Lucian relieving or adding the stress? That's a very good question. Most of the time, it's a way for me to relax and it's fun. But there's always a sense of pressure that comes with modding and that people have expectations, for, not, not, not in a negative way, but, you know, inevitably, because people, some people like Lucian, you know, that people have expectations of, um, of new content, which does give a certain amount of pressure because I know there are people waiting for things. Like, there are things like Lucy and the Dragonborn Season 2 that I never got around to doing and I still would like to do, but I'm aware constantly of a sense of pressure to do that, uh, which can add to the stress a little bit. And, uh, you know, and I know I'm aware I haven't done a Lucian main file update for like over a year and that is a, you know, there's, th there's things that I know I need to do which kind of simmer away in the background and they do, I guess, add to my list. They make me feel like I'm carrying a little bit more. But uh, on the whole, though, the whole thing of Lucian is very nice and a relief. And what it does do is by having this whole, you know, streaming, Patreon uh donation and everything system it what it takes off me is financial pressure which then uh you know is it make that makes the biggest difference or that of anything because it means i'm not then having to spend my time working loads of extra jobs and stuff uh although i do still work extra jobs but you know i'm not having to pour all my free time into paying the bills and everything and that's that is invaluable so i think the net effect of working on all of this is um hugely positive for me. Yeah, of course, you can always ask about my PhD. Uh, fun Joho. Fan Joho? Joho? Joho fan? Are you a Pokemon fan? Fan Joho? Is that where that comes from? Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, of course you can ask. Um, I talk about this from time to time on my streams. Uh, I am a biomedical engineer. My project is uh, prosthetics. So I, I work on a prosthetics control system for uh, um, prosthetic limbs. I'm on intent, intent sensing is the idea. So uh, I'm trying to develop algorithms to network sensors together to predict what you want to do, what you want to happen, what movement you want to make or what action you're trying to perform. Uh, ideally before you start doing it, so that if you're using a prosthetic device, or indeed any kind of assistive medical device, or any form of technology really, it can predict that, say, you want to reach out and pick up a cup, or you want to start walking upstairs, or whatever, it can predict that that's what you want to do, and automatically do that for you, uh, without you having to manually select the appropriate grip, or press a button, or anything like that. 
No, nothing to do with English. No, I'm a scientist. That's my thing. I'm an engineer. The English stuff comes out of my writing. That's that's my books. Right, okay, so we've uh, we need to export. Did we export? We did, we exported the lines. I'm just gonna pop you back onto camera for a second. So that I can drag the appropriate lines across to the right place without showing you any spoilers or anything. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. That's not the right folder to put them in, Joseph. You are such a fool. They gotta go in the Bruma Patch folder. Scooby da boo. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Polymath? No, I've never met her. But she sounds lovely. No, um, I'm not a, I'm not a, <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a very grandiose word for it. I just have a wide a range of interests. And they change. I dabble in different things. I like to know things. Right, uh, so here I'll go back to screen with camera so you can see what I've got. So we have got these four little lines and what I want to do is back them up. So if I go back to the Lucian folder and we sort in, I'll go to the sound archive and we'll just paste them. We'll just pop them in here. There we go, some backed up lines. What instrument do I play besides guitar? I play the piano. You can see the keyboard behind me. And I sing. And years ago when I was at school, I used to play the cello. And I wasn't very good at it. Let's open up Audacity. Oh, and I also have grade one recorder. So, Fan, I, Fanjo, I don't work on the actual output side of it. My project focuses exclusively on determining what your intent is. The idea being that you could use that to control a prosthetic, but you could use it to control any technology. So it's not specific uh, to, um, you know, hands or individual fingers or feet or indeed upper limb or lower limb or, um, or cars or VR. You know, it's not specific to anything. It's just about trying to determine what people want to do. <laughs> I do I do work out, but not as often as I should. I'm not very good at keeping a habit up of doing that. I need to try and be better organized on that front. But it's yet another thing to try and juggle. But it's important you know, to be healthy and everything. How do I balance? Um, well, I balance by doing the thing, but I try and, I try and balance in terms of my calendar. My calendar is the things that I have to do, right? So the actual deadlines that I have for my actual PhD work, um, primarily. And then all this other stuff, this is my fun stuff. So I, I, I like, I say, okay, we're going to do the stuff that has to be done. And then I fit in this stuff where I can. And I try and make sure I only ever work on stuff that I find fun. That's why I have this weird system that people don't always get with Lucian, which is that um, people ask me quite often, and um, what's the roadmap for Lucian? Or what's the release date for X thing? What are you working on next? What are the next five things you're working on? You know, as though it's a job. And I, if I start working like that, all the fun just goes straight out of it. 
You know, if I say I have to do task A, task B, and task C by, by date, then it's just a job, it's just boring. I don't enjoy it at all. Whereas if I come along to my mod and I say, okay, today I'm just gonna work on some aspect of Lucian. And then I pick what I find fun, which is often like, oh, I want to work on this particular DLC or this particular quest that I've just enjoyed or do this particular interaction. And I just do that for a bit. And I might not finish it. If I don't finish it, that's fine. Move on to something else, do something different, come back to it when I find it fun. And if I do it like that, then I stay motivated with it. It becomes, but it's fun, it's relaxing, it's it's nice, it's a pleasant experience. And that's, that means you don't burn out on it. So I guess you could say I balance it all by making the jobs I have to do as easy as possible by making them as fun as possible. That's, that's, the, that's the secret, in my opinion. It's very difficult to make exercise fun, but my best way I've managed it is with Doctor Who audio dramas. Because it's not often I'll find the time to sit down and just listen to a Doctor Who audio drama. There's great stuff by Big Finish, but it's not often that I'll sit down and go, oh, I'm going to listen to this without moving. However, if I make it, if I say, oh, I'm going to work out, I'm going to go for a run. And while I run, I'm going to listen to this Doctor Who audio I've been wanting to listen to for a while. Then I incentivize it, then I make it fun. It's like, then I have, okay, I'm working on this thing and I get to listen to the audio. So it's like a simultaneous punishment in that I have to work, but I'm treating myself. So that's nice. And that, that's time that I can do that guilt-free because I've got to do something else, you know, while I'm doing it. Um, you know, it's work, I, I do the exercise and I have that free mental space. So I am... Um, so I, I make, you know, I have to, uh, so then, I, then, yeah, I have that free space so I can use it to listen to something nice. Oh, I have a massive to-do list, Andy Groves. Uh, I have a huge, it's got 30 things on it at the moment. You can see 19, of, see this little tick down here? This is my to-do list software and that's telling me 19 things I have to do are currently overdue. <laughs> so as you can see, the juggling is not working super well. <laughs> Um, yes, there are VR workout games, and Skyrim VR is not one of them. Skyrim VR, you play standing still. Um, but uh, uh, the Star Wars lightsaber dojo games, Invader Immortal, are a brilliant workout. Gorn is a great workout. Um, there's actual fitness apps, which are quite good fun. Some of, the, some of them are. They're exhausting. Um, but yeah. All that's a good way to do it as well. Anyway, right, let's actually do the thing I set out to do. What happened to Adios? It was all our fault, wasn't it? What happened to Adios? It was all our fault, wasn't it? What happened to Adios? It was all our fault, wasn't it? It was. We are awful people. What is a balabangle? Is that like a, a wearable weight? <laughs> the Adams family. Jugarapa. 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 Well, we have a suspect, but not a location. Perhaps Adius can help us out a bit? Perhaps he can. A weighted strap. One to two pounds. Oh, I see. So that's like a, a workout as in a, um, you know, calorie burn kind of thing. Because the way, because I have a, I have a very fast metabolism. I need to, my, my, when I do work out, I need to focus on, um, bulk a little bit more. Because otherwise I have the tendency to lose weight very, very quickly. So I always have to concentrate on, um, pushing back against that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Poor Adius. There we go. So there are all those lines. Those are all in place. Now what I'm going to go and do is sort by type. No, I'm not. I'm going to sort by name. So hang on. I've done this all horribly wrong. Right, 812. Sort by name. 812. We're going to delete the foos. Back to date modified. 815. Sort by name. Delete the foos because I'm deleting the old audio file here. 855. Delete the foos. Back and 862. Delete the foos. There we go. And we don't need this anymore. This is blocking the screen. Yeah, I, I'm not really very into Beat Saber. I find it quite uh, dull, <laughs> to be quite frank. I find it overrated. I don't really get what's so great about it. Maybe if it had songs that I really liked, I'd enjoy it more. But I, I'm just very meh about it. Okay, so, now we've done that, we need to foosify, convert these files we've just done into foozes, using Yakitori Audio Converter. Sorry, I have an itchy nose again today. I feel like I spent all of last stream scratching my nose as well. I don't know what's going on with it. File, open, Bruma patch. Convert to fuses. Yahoo! Type. We'll get rid of the lips and the waves. Lips and the waves. So now we have fuses. So now we've corrected the ADIUS thing. Now we can fire up Skyrim again. And test the, uh, the, the last lines. You do hit workouts between laps. Oh, that sounds awful. But you trick your brain into thinking it was a cooldown. Wow, well, okay. Well, yeah, I guess psychologically, if that works, it sounds sensible. Yeah, I bet, Nuna. Sorry, it's probably not very nice hearing us talk about these things when you have difficulties with that. Sorry. Right, let's go game with camera and you can see what we're doing. They live in a museum where people come to see him. <laughs> I could have named this stream a lot better. Looking over at the other thing, I just called it Testing Lucy and Bruma Patch. That was silly. I should have put stuff to identify that it's my mod. Uh, why is that disabled? No, the Anniversary Edition Patch should be enabled. What's happened? Let's open Vortex and see what I've accidentally messed up. Cats are very good, this is true.
Okay, why is my anniversary edition patch disabled? I don't know, but it has done. Let's re-enable it. I love it when a cat boops me with their nose. I went home last weekend and I got lots of nose boops from Grey. She's very sweet. She slept on my lap. Oh, he just want a nom. He hungry. Hungry boy. Do not trifle with bears. He who trifles with bears risks becoming a bear. How can I assist? Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Bruma. Let's just test that last line. What happened to Adius? It was all our fault, wasn't it? He deserved it. What? How can you... No, I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Maybe you just need time to process it. I hope that's all it is. There we go. Fab, you low so. I am into sci-fi stuff, Andy. I, I read a lot of sci-fi stuff. Um... But I, I don't have tons of time for games that aren't Skyrim. Because <laughs> let's be honest, that's where, what the vast majority of my audience is interested in. Um, so when I play a game that isn't Skyrim, I know it's going to be a much less successful stream. Or whatever. Um, so I can't stream them very much, and I don't get tons of free time to play uh, other games, really. Just for fun. Though right now I'm currently playing through Metroid. Stray was good fun. Did enjoy Stray. Stray was great. But yeah, right now I'm playing Metroid. Getting into the Metroid series, which is sci-fi. Now that I have a Switch. And they're quite fun games. Anyway, so where was I going? I wanted to go to Frostcrag Spire. Avec Lucian, that's up here. Ooh, so pretty. Any thoughts, Lucian, on our proximity to this cool place? With its cool door. My word! Frost Crag Spire! It's even more majestic than I dared to imagine! Oh, please, let's go inside! It works! Well, I just finished Metroid 1, and I'm currently playing Metroid 2. Oh there, Traveller. What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? Uh... Fun? Hmm. I suppose this is still a College of Whispers sinusure. Or almost one. Fine. Just ask your questions, then make your way out. We don't need synod spies or vagabonds roaming around the spire. Exciting. Ah, Lucian's having a fun time. He's enjoying himself. Good. You like the spire. I think it's cool. Good. I'm just going to open SSD edit so we can see the list of lines for test. <laughs> oh, as a baruda, michigaruda, bippity boppity boo. Put them together, and what do you get? A bippity boppity boo. Who? Okay, uh, Frost Crag Spire Idols. Okay, so now we've got. Some general locational idols, which I assume will trigger. And we've got the Unbound Scamp quest to start. So Ravel Fandango, we need to talk to. Which one of you is Ravel what Fandango? Is it? 
Was he the guy we just spoke to? Did he go through the portal? There you are. Yes. Scaramouche. This, this territory belongs to the College of Whispers. What brings you to the top of this frigid mountain? Do you need help with anything? Help? Hmm. Well, since you asked, possibly. I need someone to fix a mistake a member of my team decided to disrupt our busy schedule with. Unfortunately, none of us has had the time to tend to it as of yet. What say you? What say me? I say yes. Much appreciate. I appreciate See, you. I love his one voice. Of my more <laughs> eccentric members' early conjuration experiments. She made an error in judgment and attempted a conjuration spell which was beyond her capabilities. While she did successfully summon a scamp. The binding process was flawed, and now the spawn is running wild through the channels. Where is the scamp? Last we saw, it was headed south, toward Bold Man's Respite. Start there, and when you find it, return it to oblivion for me. Now go, and try not to die. Will do. Ooh, line! Looks like it's let itself go a bit since then. Fab, right, so anyway, Lucian. Regardless of that, there is a scamp on the loose. Do you have anything to say about it? Let's stare into each other's An eyes. An scamp on the loose in the Geralds? That sounds spectacularly dangerous. Those things are vicious. Cool. Oh, we went the wrong way. We went the wrong way and we're really high up. Right. Let's go get this scampity scamp. Scampity scamp. Scampity scamp. What do you need? You. Let's get back to I it. I need you to How be are you my, doing, friend? my friend. You're not contagious, are you? If you're sure. Oh, I keep forgetting that there's this weird thing which makes it dance instead of hug. I need to fix whatever that is. It's just really hard. Ah, now this looks like something bad has happened here. I found a scamp. We killed the scamp. We did it. Any thoughts on that? Environmental storytelling here. Obviously bad things happened. What is the line? Get stage, kill the scamp for Ravel Fandango. So, get stage, CYR, Frostcrag, FF01. Get stage, CYR, Frostcrag, FF01. 20. Yep. And get stage done. Uh, so SQS JR31 Lucian Frost Crag Spire. Nope. JR31 Lucian Bruma Frost Crag Spire. 200, yes. 210, no. Okay, that's all satisfied. So he should say something. Come on! Why so silent, good monsieur? Did you think that I had left you for good? Have you missed me, good monsieur? I have written you an opera! There's conflicting research about wisp stalks. Some scholars record they make you move faster, but more recent work suggests they drive you mad. Feeling lucky? I advise Audio. you to comply. 
goodness we found the stamp before it could do any more damage. I only wish we'd caught up with it sooner. That poor hunter. There we go. And that, my friends, concludes the testing on the Lucian Bruma patch. I am satisfied that this mod works. You bet I could do a good Cicero voice. Wagon wheel! Dratted wagon wheel! Cicero was transporting this to my dear sweet mother! Anyway. Right, we did it! Yeah, there you go, after some practice. <laughs> uh, anyway, right, we're done. Yeah. Wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel! Quite like wagon wheels. They're nice. Anyway. Right, I want, uh, now we need to pack it up. We need to, uh, we need to get the, and by pack it up, I mean don't end the stream. We need to get the files and we need to turn them into a BSA so that we can distribute them. Wagon wheel, oh, a wagon wheel. I've got a brand new wagon and you've got a brand new wheel. And do 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 do. Yep, that's my song. Oh no. No. We need to reduce the resolution again. Diddle little it da do do diddle little it da Henry Hoover Diddle little it da Henry Hoover Screen camera camera on my screen Screen camera Among Us features beans Right New folder Lucian Bruma Patch Version Uno point six O point three and inside that one, we need a data folder. Oh, I'm just going to grab that as well. And inside the data folder, we need a sound. And inside the sound, we need a voice. And inside the voice, we need all of these files. Oh, our wagon wheels are like, yeah, it's like a sort of marshmallowy biscuit. Like a yummy, chewy nibble. Snack. He's good. And of course, date. Uh, the date file, the file we need here is the Bruma patch. In there. And what else do we need? We need the uh, scripts. Which I can sort by name because we want the one that starts JR31. Everything starting JR31. We want these. Gimme. Give me, give me, give me a script after midnight. Won't somebody help me chase the shadows away? Have I ever modded anything else in Skyrim at any other game? Yes! Croc! I made Croc! There's another follower you can download. What I made and voice. Um, and uh, I have done unofficial writing patches for various mods. For Lucian. I've only modded Skyrim. I don't mod other things. 
And I collaborated on a couple of mods with Mihail Mods, uh, House Drez, and uh, Sulphur and Fire, which both contain some of my voice acting and writing. And I collaborated with Jay Crodgemal on a little bit of Dark End, and I need to pick up that again, I keep forgetting. But uh, I am working on a quest for that. Which is another thing that he's doing. Croc! This one. Now we need to generate an SEQ. Which stands for Sideways uh, Elephant Quack. Uh, it's it's how I say it. I mean, you can say it however you want. It might be J. Cromo. J. K. It might be J. K. Rommel. You can I don't know. You can say whatever you want. Uh, anyway, other generate. Create SEQ, and we already cleaned the file, so we're good. Oh, actually, I wanted to check what master dependencies it has, whether it has any unnecessary masters, because we could clean that. Nope. Just because I find it tidy doesn't really make much practical difference but I prefer not to have any unnecessary dependencies. See, look, so we've currently got dependencies in all this lot, but if I just do uh, clean masters, there you go, that's just so much tidier. There's the Bruma patch. Right, so we've got the scripts. We need the source files. Just for my own... No, that's not how we do that at all. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Source. Scripts. Date modified. Name JR31. Grab this lot. I don't include the source scripts in the files I release because I like to keep it all minimal. But um, just so that they're there, though, in my own archives in case I ever need them. And there we go. We, script sounds SEQ. I don't think there's anything else. It's been a while since I last archived things like this. But I'm pretty sure that's everything we need. So if we go to Skyrim Special Edition and we go to name, tools, archive, archive.exe, we're going to include sounds, voices, and misc. Check all the boxes except this one. Grab these, whack them in there. File, save as. Lucian, broom, no, no, this is the wrong folder. Lucian Bruma patch dot ESP, but of course we're going to just call it dot PSA. Go back and find that now. Got both of those. We're going to archive that. And this is going to be version 1.6.3 beta 1. We're going to get that and put that in there. I hope you know how much of an inspiration you are to people. Oh, that's so nice. I'm glad you feel inspired. Sometimes I could do with some inspiration, but knowing my inspiration has inspired people is inspirational. So it's like an inspirational loop going around between us. So that's nice. Okay, done. File tested, packed up. 
ready to go. Um, I'm going to do a post on my Discord server very shortly looking for volunteers to sign up for testing this Bruma patch for me because uh, I need to test this on other people's playthroughs to make sure it works and get people just sort of to test together, make sure there's nothing horribly broken about it, and that I've not forgotten to include any scripts or anything like that. So I'm going to do a post. If you're interested in helping, please do react to that. Uh, it's got to be PC only. We can only test on PC. Uh, the patch will come to Xbox and everything after, but testing, I can only do on PC. Uh, but do sign up if you're interested in that. Um, we're going to be testing on SE for now. But I will backport the patch and uh, do it on Ellie. The, the testing is zero commitment, Andy Graves. It's, you know, please install it and give it a go when you have time. Just take Lucy in there. Just uh, What I'm really looking for more than anything else is not so much playing his comments. I'm looking for making sure he doesn't comment in an inappropriate place. You know, making sure he doesn't say the wrong line. I'd rather he said nothing than said the wrong line at the wrong time. You know, so it's um, just making sure that he keeps quiet when he should, really, is what we're after. Anyway, right, I'm going to post about that. I'll get this file uploaded. I'll have a think about backporting it to early when I get some time. I will be back on Monday for something. We'll do a stream on Monday. It might be Mario Kart or something. Might be something else. We'll see. See what we fancy. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching for the last hour. No, it's been a brief one, but we got the stuff we needed to get done done. And uh, yeah, look after yourselves. Stay marvelous. Remember to treat yourself to nice things. Have a nice snack. Maybe drink some water. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.